ehkä se kustannustehokkain tapa. Maybe the most cost efficient method would be the transportation of RCG bales as in a hot chain from the field to the power plant. No covered storage or storehouse is needed. The percentage of RCG in the fuel blend varies from some percent up to 20, depending on the technology of the power plant. In certain countries, as in Finland and Sweden, byproducts of the wood industry constitutes a major share of the total fuel consumption in power plants. Consistently, planted trees may be used as energy crops as well. In Italy, several important studies were executed to implement new poplar clones. The research of energy crops began in the early 90s. This research period continued for 15 years. As a result, the biodiversity studies indicated the poplar had the best productivity conditions in northern and central Italy. Instead, in the arid conditions of southern Italy, eucalyptus gave the best results. By request of the end users and energy producers, the whole production chain now came under consideration. This was partly due to the reorganization of the sugar industry and also due to the support and development of liquid biofuel production. In solid biofuels, R&D was focused on planting and harvesting equipment of poplar in order to reduce production costs. This led to a wide range of innovations in mechanical construction, storage systems, driving tracks, soil durability, chip size and tree trunk size. Better cultivation methods and machinery has led to the optimization of dry mass production by using longer harvesting periods, even up to five years. Also, the selective breeding of poplar has increased biomass production. The estimated annual yield reaches from 20 up to 40 tons per hectare. The prima, uh, Initially, the Italian Agricultural Research Center focused on new clones and varieties intended for the pulp and paper industry. Subsequently, the institute launched a new research line for the development of new clones for energy production. Also, private plant breeders invested simultaneously in the development of new clones. To my mind, Italy has the best know-how in this vocational field. We also have the largest selection of genetic varieties of poplar, which gives an opportunity to choose the correct species for different soil and climate conditions in Europe and the whole world. In biogas plants, several different raw materials can be used for energy production. For example, facial sludge, byproducts from the food industry and cultivated biomass. The process begins by feeding the silage to the main reactor. Then it is led to the second step reactor. A gas storage is situated on the top of the second step reactor. A gas pipe leads methane to the generator motors. Our opinion is that it is essential to take such areas as waterfronts of lakes and rivers for energy crop cultivation purposes. There are a lot of suitable areas available. It is considerably important that the biogas production and the production of biomass constitute a local production chain which does not lead to monocultural cultivation, but to a biodiversity with many variations. Sondern dass es eine breite Rohstoffversorgung für so eine Anlage gibt und eigentlich in ganz Europa haben Kommunen genügend Flächen, die man für die Energieproduktion heranziehen könnte. Wenn man eine Biogasanlage betrachtet, dann ist es. It is essential to contact as many authorities as possible already in the very beginning of the planning process of a biogas plant in order to meet all requirements of construction instructions, electricity feeding instructions and by-product usage instructions.
Renewable solid biomass production is also environmentally friendly as it bounds more greenhouse gases as what will be released in the energy production process. Additionally, it lowers our dependency on fossil fuels. The production level of solid energy crops has achieved an industrial level in Europe. Thousands of biogas plants and hundreds of combustion plants produce heat, electricity and biogas with biomass. Many studies and much research have indicated that energy crop production is a local energy source with a positive impact on the environment and greenhouse gas emissions.